Okay, another example of um, showing the transfer of electrons between, uh, let's say we wanted to form an ionic compound between magnesium and bromine. Well, looking on the periodic chart, uh, make sure you look at the group number for magnesium. You'll notice it's in group 2A, so it has two valence electrons, which we're going to represent with dots. Bromine, if you find bromine, it's a halogen, and that means it's in group 7A. So 7A has seven valence electrons. Any of those elements in 7A has seven valence electrons. And I'm going to re represent bromine's valence electrons with an X. Okay, if you notice, bromine only needs to gain one electron, but magnesium needs to get rid of two. So the transfer of electrons is going to occur simultaneously between all the atoms of magnesium and bromine that are in that sample until everybody's happy. Now, if you notice, magnesium has two to get rid of. So when it starts donating, or when it starts releasing these electrons, the bromine atom is going to gain one. But then it will have reached its octet. It will have filled its octet, having eight valence electrons, and it is now much more happy and stable as a negative one ion. Magnesium, however, is not quite happy yet because it still has one electron to get rid of. So in order to find a proper ratio between magnesium and bromine, kind of shows us that we're going to need another bromine atom, which would also start with seven valence electrons. And then this magnesium atom can uh, release its second electron, which could be taken in by bromine. So this bromine has now reached its octet, has fulfilled its um, eight valence electrons, and is now a bromine with a negative one charge. So it's called a bromide ion. And the magnesium has completely lost its two electrons, so it has formed the ion of magnesium with a two plus charge. Now notice, um, two positive charge and two separate negative one charges does balance out to a net charge of zero. So an ionic compound formed between magnesium and bromine will react in a ratio of one to two. And this will result in a chemical formula of Mg, subscript one, but we don't write the ones. Because <clears throat> as soon as we write the element down, we know that it's understood to be there. And we have two atoms of bromine that were involved in this uh, process, so we put a 2. Mg, Br, 2. Also, if you're going to look at the um, shortcut, magnesium, if you look at magnesium on the periodic chart, at this point you should know that when it reacts, it's going to form a positive 2 charge. So when you write that charge down, and then you say to yourself, okay, if it's going to combine with bromine, Looking on the periodic chart, you know bromine is in group 7A, and you should at this point know that bromine will always react to forming minus one charge. So when we look at these charges, an easy way to um, come up with the chemical formula to know the ratio that these combine is to do something called the crisscross method. The two up here will then be the subscript for bromine, and the one, so magnesiums, uh, the two will be the subscript for bromine, and the one will be the subscript for magnesium. Now remember, we don't normally write the ones, so you will never see Mg1Br2, but Mg1Br2.